As a hunter, I am blessed to be able to feed my family with some of the healthiest and tastiest meat available. I always try to use as much meat as possible from a harvested animal. Normally on a tough deer shoulder, I cut the meat off the bone and grind it into hamburger. But this year for Christmas, I wanted to try braised venison shoulder. For this special meal, I enlisted the help of my beautiful wife who is an incredible cook. She found a recipe that slowly cooks the deer shoulder in a broth containing wild mushrooms, vegetables, and herbs. The first step is to rehydrate about three ounces of dried wild mushrooms using warm water. For this recipe, we use Pacific Golden Chantrail and Porcini mushrooms, which can be commonly found growing in the Pacific Northwest. The next step was to cut up our fresh vegetables. For this recipe, we used two leeks, four peeled carrots, four small onions, and five cloves of crushed garlic. We then removed the rehydrated wild mushrooms from the warm water after they had been soaking for over an hour. Make sure to save this mushroom broth as it will be used later on in the cooking process. Once all the ingredients were prepared, we were ready to begin adding them to a heated pan. The first to go in was a little bit of butter and four slices of cut bacon. We then added our fresh vegetables to the heated pan and then later the rehydrated wild mushrooms. While these ingredients were cooking, we seasoned our venison shoulder with sea salt and freshly ground pepper. We then removed the cooked vegetables, added a little bit of olive oil, and placed the venison shoulder in the heated pan. After a few minutes, we flipped the venison shoulder to lightly sear the other side, and then added the vegetables back to the pan. We were then ready to add the liquid ingredients to the pan, which included a whole bottle of red wine, a mushroom broth, and eight cups of chicken broth. The final ingredients to be added to the pan were the fresh herbs, which include parsley, rosemary, and thyme. We then covered the pan in foil and placed it in a 300 degree oven to cook. After three hours in the oven, we removed the pan, strained off some of the liquid to be used in a gravy sauce, and then covered the pan back in foil to allow the braised venison to rest. Braising allows you to take a normally tough piece of meat such as a deer shoulder and turns it into a tender and flavorful dish where the meat just falls off the bone. This recipe was delicious and enjoyed by my whole family for Christmas dinner. I don't think I'll ever grind another deer shoulder into hamburger ever again, but rather save it as a special cut of meat to be enjoyed on special occasions.